Hello world, this is Chris with Elevations. Today we're doing a video on remote communication systems. So as you can tell, this is a very remote site. This is actually in Southern Texas. Uh, this site is on top of a mountain in Southern Texas. And as you can tell there, there are two solar panels that keep everything powered. Uh, what we're doing in this video specifically today is adding additional battery systems to help with longer runtime when the sun is down. So what you can see here is the main thing that you can see obviously is those solar panels. Then we have that tower there. And what we have is we have multiple different communication systems in play. So one is I have a wireless protocol that I basically invented based off of a LoRa standard. So that's a 900 megahertz system. And that communicates with a lot of different sensors we have spread throughout this ranch. So we're able to check for temperature, humidity, gate information, a lot of different type of sensory data that then just broadcasts and the antenna on top of this tower will pick up that data and that pipes everything through a Raspberry Pi and on it goes through the rest of the project. We also have a 5 gigahertz omnidirectional antenna on top of this tower and that allows for broadband connectivity to the top of this point and it also broadcasts throughout the overall radius of this ranch. So what we're able to do is take a broadband connection that we have at a lower point in a town and that shoots up directionally towards this omnidirectional antenna and then as long as anything throughout the ranch can actually see this point then we can actually put broadband communication systems there for camera systems, other sensors, and a lot of different things. You can also see down here on a little bit of a lower pole we do have a pan tilt zoom camera system. So from the top of that mountain, we're able to look around and kind of just keep a bird's eye view of everything going on around the ranch. Now, the next thing I want to show here is a little bit of a closer view of the actual electronics at the ground level so we can see how that came together. The first thing that you can see, obviously, is the weatherproof enclosure. So all the electronics in that and then all the batteries are in battery boxes below. The electronics that are enclosed in the enclosure themselves would be the power regulator, the charge regulator, the Raspberry Pi, that type of equipment. And then you can see the solar panels themselves, everything feeds back into this enclosure. On the left hand side here we have the mass for the pan tilt zoom, and then back in the enclosures where we have our voltage regulator, our power controller, our charge controller, and this main mast is the primary mast for the tower that has all of our primary antennas up top here. So this is about a 30 foot tower, and then we have that 5 gigahertz and 900 megahertz antennas up top. Everything feeds back down here to the base where you see the enclosure is. On top of the Raspberry Pi in the bottom of that enclosure is the 900 megahertz radio that's directly attached to the Raspberry Pi. And that antenna goes through the pigtail that goes out of the box and up to our 900 megahertz antenna. Now, as you can tell, there's a number of other devices inside of our enclosure itself. On the top left is the Victron Blue Solar MPPT 7515 charge controller. So this is where all the power from the solar panels actually goes into the box. It goes directly to this controller. And then this controller manages the batteries for us as well as the voltage output to the rest of our system here. To the right of that, we have our buck converter. So that goes from 12 volt and that gives us a 24 volt output. Since it's a 12 volt native system, I need 24 volt to power the Ubiquiti uh, air router that actually gives me a switch and routing system on board here. And then directly below that is another buck converter that actually steps down from 12 volt down to 5 volt DC in a USB form factor so we can power the Raspberry Pi directly off of our power system here. And that is the majority of everything we have for our overview on the Southwestern Texas Remote Communication System. My name is Chris with Elevations. As always, I do hope you learned something today. Please like and subscribe below. Thank you for watching.